You could tell that Shakur Stevenson don't got no real OGs in his life. You could tell that Shakur Stevenson is not getting the best advice on his team. Y'all know that Shakur Stevenson is begging for a promoter to sign him right now. Shakur Stevenson is not signed to no promotional company. So he going doing all these interviews trying to sell himself to the public. It's only one problem. The man does not know what to say on camera. Shakur been doing these interviews and the interviewers are asking him the same question. Why do you think boxing fans call you boring? Check this out. I didn't never hear nobody say nothing about Lomachenko being boring when he fought um, Pedraza. I didn't hear nothing about him being boring when he fought Rigadale. I just feel like it's a different standard on like young black guys and I feel as though. You could tell what Shakur Stevenson is going with this. The man is trying to fall back on that race card. He trying to say that Lomachenko is boring too. Ayo hey, Shakur Stevenson, Lomachenko don't be on Twitter every single day talking like he's some type of killer in that boxing ring. Shakur Stevenson be talking like he could punch like Javante Davis. Shakur Stevenson acts as if he's a Mike Tyson type of fighter. He's a female. The reason why people go so hard on Shakur Stevenson is because he got the nickname Twitterson. When you talk crazy on Twitter, the people expect you to deliver. Not run around the ring for 12 rounds versus Edwin De Los Santos. How long has it been since Shakur Stevenson had a knockout? Not Devin Haney. I don't think that Shakur Stevenson even understands what he's saying. Shakur Stevenson is low key calling black boxing fans stupid. He trying to say that black boxing fans gotta support him just because he black. He basically wants blind support. He trying to say that if you black, you gotta root for him just because he black. Ayo Shakur Stevenson bro, you basically calling black boxing fans dumb. That's what you really doing. Black boxing fans know they boxing. Black boxing fans walk out on your fights for a reason. Did y'all ever see a black boxing fan walking out on a Javante Tank Davis fight? Did y'all ever see a black boxing fan walking out on a Deontay Wilder fight? Absolutely not, because Javante Davis and Deontay Wilder put fans in them seats. They are exciting fighters. Our people need to like learn how to like stand with us. Us people don't support each other. Our people just not standing with us. That is cap. Black people do support black fighters. They just do not support you because you literally put Twitter in on the back of your trunks, basically honoring the fact that you were internet troll. Black boxing fans definitely support black fighters like Terrence Bud Crawford, Errol Spence, Javante Davis, Jerron Boots, and it's the list goes on. They just not rocking with you because you call yourself Twitterson. You all talk and no action. Why you think you don't got a promotional company right now? Because Top Rank dropped your ass because you just can't sell. You won the belt with nobody. For some of y'all, this might be going over a lot of y'all heads. But in my personal opinion, Shakur Stevenson is trying to call black boxing fans stupid. He trying to say, even though y'all know y'all boxing, rock with me. Even though I'm boring as hell and I write checks that my ass can't cash. Shakur Stevenson completely embarrassed himself in these interviews. Ayo, Shakur Stevenson. If you were trying to get signed, bro, please stay the hell away from a microphone and a camera. Shakur Stevenson is embarrassing himself and he lowering his stock when he doing these interviews. It hurts, you're not a pay-per-view star. Speaking of Shakur Stevenson, I saw this on Twitter earlier. Shout out to Mr. Knockout Boxing 86 TV. The man made a great point. He basically said that Javante Davis got a way higher ring IQ than Shakur Stevenson. Javante Davis could fight guys like a super tall Mario Barrios, a super short Pitbull Cruz, a crazy wild brawler like Rolly Romero, and a quick fighter like Ryan Garcia. Javante Davis has proven that he could adapt to any style of fighter. Unlike Shakur Stevenson, who struggled with Edwin De Los Santos and Artem Haro Tunyan. Niggas is pussy. Y'all know that Goofy stick up for Goofies in boxing, especially if they both from a soft city like Newark, New Jersey. Ray Ford, the man who just got destroyed by Nick Ball, got cooked by Nick Ball, tweeted out. D eating again, laughing emoji. Hey, yo, Ray Ford, what the hell is you laughing at, bro? Why did you gotta disrespect Javante and then put a laughing emoji like a female? Javante Davis responded back to Buddy. As y'all can see, he told the man to shut up. Dicky Daddy called the man a bum. Ray Ford, bro, before you start talking reckless, 
You still got Nick Ball problems. Nick Ball beat your brains out and nobody even know who the man was. Who the fuck is that guy? But in all seriousness, Mr. Ray Ford, what did Mr. Knockout Boxing say that was not factual? Javante Tank Davis has proven that he could adapt to any style in boxing. Tank Davis has proven that he could beat a power punch in Southpaw. The man knocked out Frank Martin. Not Devin Haney. Fuck the Haney! Hey, yo, Ray Ford, you know deep down in your heart that Javante Davis would have knocked out Edwin De Los Santos and Artem Harotunian. Shakur Stevenson couldn't. Your man is not cut like that. Why you gotta jump all in the mix when you know damn well you fight nowhere near 135? You was not cut like that. Hey, yo, Ray Ford, can you beat Javante Tank Davis? I don't think so. Southpaw always got some bullshit he want to start. Really quick, did y'all know that Zab Judah quit versus Amir Khan? Did y'all know that Zab Judah got stopped by Amir Khan? Zab Judah, the softest individual from the softest city on the face of the earth, Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn is not like that. Zab Judah ducked a boxing match with me. Let that sink in. Soft ass nigga. And Ryan Garcia is on Devin Haney's head. Ever since Devin said he was coming back in 2024, knowing damn well he is suspended. Ryan Garcia posted this from Boxing Kingdom on Twitter. It says, Google trends with the USA over the past three months in terms of boxing. As y'all can see, Canelo is number one, Ryan Garcia number two, Tank Davis number three, Shakur number four, and Devin Haney is last. Meaning, ain't nobody checking for Devin Haney on the internet. Bum ass nigga. Hey, yo, Devin Haney, bro. The clout that you was looking for when you announced your comeback completely backfired on you, bro. Ain't nobody trying to see you fight, and everybody knows that you capping because it says on Box Rack that you are still suspended. Why would you announce a comeback knowing damn well people could easily look up that you are suspended from the sport of boxing? Because of that beating that you took from Ryan Garcia. You ain't coming back in 2024. You might not come back in 2025. And if you do, mark my words, you're going to pick a cherry. We really know you. And I seen this on Twitter just now from High Level Boxing. Shout out to him. It says, isn't it crazy how everybody want to call out Javante Tank Davis only when he got a fight lined up? Make shirtless videos with trash ass chains on and say the tank is ducking him only when he got a fight lined up. Just to be completely silent once he's actually free with no fight. He's talking about Shakur Stevenson. Notice how Shakur Stevenson went silent once he did not have a fight and Javante Davis didn't have a fight. Shakur Stevenson is not cut like that. What don't y'all get? That's why he got the name Twitterson. He lives on Twitter, not in real life. And he from the softest city on the face of the earth in Newark, New Jersey. Shakur Stevenson is not cut like that. We're gonna meet, but it's it's gonna be all the way up there. It's my catch out with my dead grandmother gonna boom ya on camera.